Hey guys, I'm Jamie Adcock, also known as the Running Diva Mom. I'm a running coach and personal trainer for women with a boutique fitness studio located in the Madison, Wisconsin area. Today I'm going to demonstrate a quick and easy at-home workout that is great for dancers and ballerinas. It's really going to work the glutes, strengthen the quads, work your core, strengthen that midsection, and then we're going to work on our balance and strengthen those ankles as well. All you're going to need today is a small fitness step like I have beside me or a box. You're also going to need a set of two to three pound dumbbells like I have here. Now, we're going to get started at our wall or a door or any open space. Um, we're going to get started with a 45 second wall sit. So we're going to work on perfecting our wall sit form here. We're going to start with our back rested comfortably against the wall, shoulders into the wall, feet hip width apart, toes in front of the heels. We're going to walk those feet out till the knees are over the heels, lower the rear until the rear and the hips are behind the knees. Now never put your hands at your legs here, don't rest them on the thighs. Bring them to the wall, draw the shoulders, elbows back, chest out, and now finally pull that belly button into the spine here to eliminate that space behind the back. Now you should feel it a lot in the quads and then the glutes here. You can even work that even harder by pushing the heels, driving them into the ground, curling your toes up, find a focal point across your room. I'm gonna breathe into it for 20 more seconds here. Focus and breathe. Keep that belly button drawn in nice and tight. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now don't use those hands. Push through the heels and come up the wall. Now we're gonna do um, a balancing exercise here with the box. So we're gonna do one side first and then move over to the other side. So I'm gonna take a step up and over onto the box and then we're gonna do a lateral leg lift hold. So elevate that other foot to a place that you feel comfortable for four, three, two, one, bring that foot down, step off, and again, step up, pause, and lift that foot up out to the side, trying to get a little higher, four, three, two, one, bring that foot down, come down and hold, find a focal point in front of you, step to the side and up, bring that foot out and hold, five, four, three, two, one, relax, step down, Again, another side step up, lift that foot up and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that foot down. One last time on this side. Side step up and lift. Hold it there, belly button to the spine. Four, three, two, one. Relax and come down. Now we're gonna go up and over to the other side of the box. Same thing on the other side. Find your focal point. We're gonna do a lateral step up to get this a little more challenging for you than doing it from the floor. And then we're gonna lift that foot up out to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down, step down. Again, step that hip up over the heel and then lift the other foot. Up and hold for four, three, two, one. And down, step down. Give me three more, step up and lift and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that foot down, step down, again. Hip over the heel, lift that other foot up and hold. Find that focal point for four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down, one last time. Let's continue to challenge that ankle on this side. Lift that foot out and up, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down and step down. Now you can get rid of that step to give yourself plenty of room to move around. We're now gonna work on body weight squats, strengthening and charging those glutes in the back. So we're gonna bring the feet a little wider than hip width apart. Toes are gonna be out. And we're going to try to keep the torso straight up and down. 
as we bring our rear back and down. Try to get nice and low with the rear and the hips and then hips up and forward. Rear back and down. And then the hips come forward. This is what it looks like from the side. Rear back and down, just like you're sitting on a bench. Hips up and forward. Rear back and down. And then hips up and forward. Now try to keep those knees over the heels. Try not to let the knees come forward too much. Otherwise you're not properly engaging those glutes. Inhale down. Exhale up. Give me 10 more. Inhale down through the heels. Exhale up through the heels. Inhale down through the heels. Exhale up. You should challenge your balance a little bit by bringing that rear straight back and down. Try to keep that torso straight up and down. Inhale down. Exhale up. And I can challenge your balance even further by bringing those toes up like I am towards the ceiling. Give me five more. Breathe out, four more, and breathe out. Belly button to the spine, rear tight on the way up. Give me two, last one. Inhale down, and exhale up. Now we're gonna work on lunges. We're gonna challenge the ankles, challenge the glutes, and the quads in the front of your legs in all three directions here. We're gonna do three point lunges to the front and then laterally to the side and then reverse to the back. We're gonna repeat everything. We're gonna on the right side first and then go to the left. So we're gonna take a wide step forward. So make sure you have plenty of room all around you. Wide step forward, heel to toe. Inhale down and exhale up. Out to the side, knee over the heel. And exhale back, wide step back. Front knee over the front heel and then push through that front foot and come back. Again, we're doing this for a minute, repeating in all three directions. Hands can be at your side, they can be in a bicep curl, you can bring them straight up in front of the shoulders. Just don't bring them to the quads. Don't wanna rest them on your legs. Wide step forward, inhale down, exhale up. Out to the side, both feet stay flat, push back to center, and then reverse. Inhale down, exhale up. 15 seconds, push through that front foot and come back. Now up to the side, push through that moving foot and come back and out of the back, push through that planted foot and come back up. Now we're gonna do the other side, wide step forward, heel to toe, inhale down, exhale up, out to the side, both feet flat, toes in front of the heels, push back to center and out of the back, 90 degree bend in the front, and push back to center. Those knees don't have to come all the way to the floor. Just make sure you feel nice and challenged and make sure the front leg is bent at 90 degrees. Torso should stay perpendicular to your floor. Make sure that the chest does not come down forward towards the knee and out of the back. Inhale down, straight down, and then exhale, coming straight up. Again, 20 seconds. After this, we're gonna go down to the mat. Last set, inhale down, exhale up. Continue to bring those shoulders back, the chest out. And now let's finish up to the back. Inhale down and exhale up. Now we're gonna go down to our floor. We're gonna go into three point double leg lifts. So you wanna have your feet hip width apart, your toes pointed, legs softly bent. That means you have a soft bend in the knee, that your knees are up off the ground. You have your thumbs, just the thumb, not the whole hand, underneath the rear. Our neck is relaxed. We're gonna push the shoulders into the floor, push the palms into the floor as well. And we're gonna lift those feet up over the hips and hold five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come down at a 45 degree angle. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna lower an inch or two off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, lower and reach over the head to stretch out the back. Three, two, one, hands come back under the rear and lift. Five, four, three, two, one, 45 degree angle. Five, four, three, two, one, just off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, 
lower and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands back under the rear, just those thumbs and lift the feet. Point the toes. Four, three, two, one. Lower to 45. Four, three, two, one. Just off the mat, belly button into the spine. Three, two, one. Lower and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Three more rounds. Ready and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. 45 degrees. Five, four, three, two, one. Just off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Back to start. Two more rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. 45 degrees. Four, three, two, one. Down low, shoulders pulled back. Four, three, two, one. Lower and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to start. Last round. Lift over the hips. Point the toes. Four, three, two, one. 45 degrees. Five, four, three, two, one. Just off the ground. Four, three, two, one. Lower and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Take a quick breather. We're going to come on the hands and knees and go into some plank ups now. We're going to work the core, which is going to help the back. I'm going to work in this push up position, quadruped position, where the back of your palms are under the shoulders, knees are hip width apart. And then we're gonna bring the elbows down underneath the shoulders. Let's go into a low plank. We're gonna extend the legs, nice and low, rear low, hips high. We're gonna bring one palm under the shoulder and then the other. Tuck, tuck the chin to the chest and then come back down, elbow, elbow, rear low. Again, push up, palm through the arm, through the shoulder, come back down. Give me six more. Rear should be low, glutes should be tight. Five more, four, three. This will also help your posture. And two. Last set. Rear low, glutes tight, and come down. Let's do a quick cobra pose. Point the toes, plant the hands, extend the arms here. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's come back, rear to the heels, and we're going to come back into a seated position. We're going to go into a V sit now for 30 seconds. Extend the legs out, knees are bent, toes are up, arms are up parallel to the ground. And we're going to draw the shoulders behind us, stick the chest out, and elevate the legs so the lower leg is parallel to the ground. Toes are up, shoulders back, chest out. Open that chest. Try to squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Challenge yourself here. If this is too challenging for you today, you can also bring the heels down on the floor, drawing the shoulders back. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. Now we're going to stretch out that back while we work the core and work on our overhead range of motion, we're gonna do glute bridges with an alternating overhead reach. So your feet are hip width apart, heels are right underneath the knees here, fingertips pointing towards your heels, but you don't have to touch them. We're gonna roll the shoulder blades underneath us. Now, I'm gonna have you practice doing a regular glute bridge. You're gonna drive the heels into the floor as you bring the hips straight up Tighten the rear. Hips are aligned with the knees and the shoulders here. Shoulders and heels are driving into the floor. Glutes engage and come back down. Now we're going to add an alternating reach. So we're going to drive those heels, hips up, rear tight. Reach one hand up over the head and come back down and switch. Now as you do this, you might over arch, over extend your back like this. You don't want to do that. Hips shouldn't come too high. Hips only need to come high so that the glutes are engaged in the back. 
and they're aligned with the knees and the shoulders. Hips high, we're tight and reach. Drive those heels down as you reach. Give me six more each side. Looking straight up, breathing out. Five more each side. Glutes are tight, four more each side. Drive those heels down as your hips come high. Two more each side, breathe out. Last set. And relax. Now we're gonna go into a Russian twist. We're gonna go into that same seated position that we were um, to start in the V sit where the feet are hip width apart, toes up, knees are up off the ground. Now we're gonna take one of those bells, hold it sideways, draw the shoulders back, chest out, and we're gonna twist center, twist center, 30 seconds. Bell stays in front of the chest as you rotate, getting some rotation today in your core and the back. Elbows stay wide. Focus on not bending forward at the waist, bringing those shoulders back. Breathe out as you come back to center. 15 seconds. Knees should be moving. Toes should stay pointing up at the ceiling. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's get rid of those bells for now. We're gonna go back into that quadruped position on the hands and knees. We're gonna work the core, work the shoulders and the chest here while we stretch out our hamstrings a bit. So this is gonna be a slow, purposeful movement. And we're gonna start on a, in a low plank on the elbows right underneath the shoulders. Knees are hip width apart. We're gonna extend the legs, feet hip width apart, rear low, Glutes tight, push one palm underneath the shoulder and then the other, and then slow and controlled hands underneath the shoulders or the chest, coming towards the feet as you drop those heels to the ground. Grab your ankles, push through the heels and slowly reach up, stretching out that back, come back down, grab those ankles again, slow and controlled. Walk those hands out underneath the chest and the shoulders and then come down elbow, elbow, wide under the shoulder, palm, palm, glutes tight in the back, walk in those fingertips back as you drop the heels down, grab those ankles, reach up, come back down, grab the ankles, make sure you squeeze the glutes, the rear together, as you come back down into that low plank position, palms under the shoulders, and then elbow, elbow under the shoulder, squeeze those glutes, palm, palm, Chin to the chest, that's gonna ensure you have a nice, relaxed, neutral neck position. Grab those ankles, push through the heels and reach up. Come back down, grab those ankles. And come back out with those hands. Nice and slow and controlled under the chest or the shoulders. Elbow, elbow, rear low, hips high. Palm, palm, same thing. And then come back with those hands. Slowly walking them back to the toes. Grab the ankles, stretch out the hamstrings. Reach up, come back down. And again, slowly walk those hands out. We have one more of these. Come back down, glutes are engaged. Belly button into the spine, elbow, elbow, glutes engaged. Palm, palm, rear tight and low. Walk those fingertips back. Grab those ankles. Push through the heels and reach up to your ceiling. And then come back down. Let me come back down into that low plank position. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Now elbow, elbow, rear low, glutes tight. Let's do it for 10. Chin to the chest, eight. Big breath into the floor, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax down to the floor. Point the toes, plant the hands, Extend the arms, we're gonna stretch it out in high cobra again. Big breath for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, now let's come on the hands and knees. I'm gonna grab those bells for our final exercise. We're gonna do a quadruped alternating row. That's gonna help your posture. It's gonna open your chest, strengthen the back and the shoulders. 
So we're gonna bring the chin to the chest. Bells are underneath the shoulders. Knees are wide underneath the hips. Now we're gonna alternate side, gliding one elbow across the body, poking it up to the ceiling. That's opening the chest, strengthening the back. Push back down under the shoulder. Other side, slide the elbow across the body and up, and then push down across the body and up. Give me 10 more each side. Chin stays to the chest. Again, nice neutral neck position. Hips aren't rocking side to side. Lower body should stay in place, should not be moving. Big breath in between those fists. Five more each side. And four. Three. And two. Last one each side. And relax. That's at the end of our quick and easy at-home workout for dancers and ballerinas. If you enjoy content like this and weekly at-home workouts, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great workout.